In this video, we'll see how you can use the apply method of a series to apply a function to each element in the series, and then we'll see why apply is usually inferior to a vectorized solution. Suppose you have a series called foo with six elements like this, and you want to apply some complicated function like this one to each element in the series. Here, my func takes in a scalar x and returns x minus one if x is even, otherwise it returns x plus three. Okay, maybe this one-liner isn't that complicated, but for the sake of argument, pretend this function has hundreds of lines of cryptic code. In cases like this, you can use the apply method of the series object to apply myfunc to each element of foo. In this case, you'd say foo.apply, and then pass in the function callable, myfunc, to get back a new series of values. We could even generalize myfunc by giving it some parameters, a and b, like this, and this time, we can call foo.apply myfunc and pass in trailing parameters for a and b. The apply method is great because it's easy to use and it generalizes well, but it's slow because it's not vectorized. If we apply myfunc to a series with 10 million values, it takes about three seconds to execute on Google Colab. By contrast, here's a NumPy-based solution that achieves the same thing in 258 milliseconds, roughly 13 times faster. With that said, the apply method is designed for convenience and code clarity, not speed. Keep in mind that sometimes myfunc might actually be a function imported from another package, or maybe it makes HTTP requests to some API, and so refactoring it into a vectorized solution just isn't feasible. 